Ah. Blue ah. spaghetti fills the screen, feeling shock and chill monsters scream in pain. Mr. Empyrean, how can you be so mean? Did it feel good making these poor monsters cream? Circle of fire around person, oh shit the bitrate on stream has worsened. <laughs> Mr. Streamer back in his home, Sweden sure was delightful, took pictures with his phone. Mr. Empyrean with a hat covering his hair. Mr. Empyrean, life is not fair. <laughs> Life's not fair. Anyway, it's time. Let's get started. So I have 77 roll logbooks here. Most of them are Black Sun or Knights of the Sun. Some of them are Gwenan and uh, the other ones, a few. I have one of each boss and all of them are 81 or higher. All of them are blessed up to a pretty good implicit on the one that we're gonna run. And I have prepared an empty currency tab, an empty fragment tab, and a dump tab, which will take everything else. I am gonna remove all my loot from my logbox or expedition locker, and I'm gonna dump this somewhere here so that everything that we find in these logbox will be the only thing in the locker. I watched this stream yesterday, you were doing logbooks. Mm -hmm. I come here today, logbooks again. Yep. I went to toilet, I come back, still logbooks. If I didn't know you better I'd say you're doing like 77 of those things. Well, we'll do more I think. We're not gonna stop at 77, because they're pretty fun. So... Okay. Well, I, uh, I ended up um, enjoying the first 77 so much that we're going again. So we'll do a full tab. These are all ex extremely juicy ones. These are what we call Penta logbooks. So they have five good things about them. So here's the first example. This is a good faction. So it's Black Scythe. It's a good layout, desert ruins, and it has three good implicits. Uh, we divine them to 80% plus, all of them, or bless them, sorry. And then uh, we're gonna B-split all of these. Uh, Bazooka Tank helped me acquire this uh, in the last few days as I was running the regular ones, so I can keep running them while uh, we're stacking up on uh, some juicy ones. And uh, I'm gonna B-split all of these. They were all purchased at 60C a pop. And the split beasts were, I think, 48c above, which is pretty good price. Split an item into two. Let's do it. I hope I have enough yellow beasts for these. There it is. Wait. Oh, here. Yeah. No matching recipes. What? <laughs> that was all my yellow beasts? Wait. No. No. <laughs> Guys, we have split a single one and then I ran out of yellow beasts. So we're gonna <laughs> go buy some yellow beasts. Here we go. Fecund. Unstoppable. There we go. 10 super juicy ones. I'll just record this one logbook to show what I'm doing. First of all, I scout the whole place for runic monsters are duplicated, which is like the best mod. And it's a prefix, so it's the dark blue text. Um, and if I don't see that, or it's like really far off and it would take a lot to get there, then I searched for runic monsters with currency or excavated chests with currency or runic monsters with stack decks or excavated chests with stack decks uh, and try to get those as soon as possible and then pick up as many chests slash runic monsters as I can. So we found a really cool one here that has multiple runic monsters drop currency and I think they're both up here. This is number one. And this is number two. So I'm pretty much just gonna beeline to that 
currency one, get this runic monster, and then pick up this buff, important, and then on the way to the other buff, since I can't get it instantly, I'm just gonna get this runic monster and the artifacts on the way, and then I'm gonna pick it up. And after this, now that we have this, we have every runic monster has a 100% chance to drop additional currency items. So now we just want to collect as many runic monsters as we can. Runic monster plus this chest. Then there is a triple runic monster here. That's nice. Then is a triple monster and an underground thing. Wait. We kind of missed this chest. Hmm. Maybe... We can get... Yeah, we can get triple here. Can we? No. Okay, then we're skipping that chest, because that's a gem chest. We'd rather get a currency chest. Okay. We get triple plus map. Triple plus underground area. Yeah. Then there's like a single... Let's probably skip that. Go down here for double chest. Can we min-max that a little bit better? That's triple. Here. Now it should reach. Oh yeah. It reaches now. Two chests. Here's another runic monster currency. So we pick that up, of course. With the extra runic monster. Then there's some currency chests here. Killing white mobs one by one. Okay, here's a haste mob. Yes! If I can kill it, I'm the haste mob. Yes, let's go. Add some spice. Okay, guys. Tomato is a fruit. Linux is better than Windows. Apple is better than Android. Xbox is better than PlayStation. Your tongue is probably touching the roof of your mouth. You're breathing manually. You're blinking manually. Your nose is constantly in your peripheral vision. Your brain just chooses to ignore it. I can keep going. You started this. Three divine orbs. Yo! Nice. Oh shit, superior righteous fire. I think that's expensive actually. Yo! Hello? Okay, this RF. I'm pretty sure I sold an RF for like 20 C. No, it was Vol RF 120. Okay. This is uh, Why not Vol it then? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Oh. Yeah. Now it's 25 C. Nice. Simulacrums were. Ca oh. How am I taking damage? Wait. Oh, they're removing my ES, my current ES. Right. They can still do that. Damn, I got so scared for a moment. I. It says you cannot be damaged. And I'm taking damage. I'm like, what's going on? But they have the. Monsters hits remove 30% of current energy shield. So that's not damage. It literally just removes your ES. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, let's go right. Good spot. <laughs> really? Good spot? It has nothing. Rog, you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I mean, I've never done anything like this in POE, so... I like new things. That's a- that's a boss. That's a new boss. Uh-oh. Oh shit, I outplay- wait, I outplayed him! Smite? Let's go. Okay, we have to smite when he's regening. Here we go. Okay, try with RF. Come on! Smite again. Yes! 33 broken and 2C. So worth. 
If I'm translating this logbook correctly, they seem to have met a tribe of monkeys that could communicate with hand signs. They were capable of trade and even had their own statues of deities unknown. I've been continually astounded by Rayclast's wonders and dangers, but this one seems a bit unbelievable to me. Shall we investigate this claim, Exile? Yep. Oh shit, do not have enough room. What? I kept out on black side. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't know that was possible. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we're halfway through. Oh no. <sighs> oh logbook. Oh logbook. I'm cooked. I'm shooked. Please pay no mind. Please don't look. Mr. Streamer. Mr. Halfway done. Only a few more to go on this logbook run. While I sit here and you sit there, both of us on our derriere, showered in currency. I know I shouldn't care. I guess the fairness in life simply isn't there. <laughs> rend. Dude, he rend it from the cloud. That's pretty toxic. Okay. No death to the boss? What the fuck? Damn! Okay, that was pretty juicy. <clears throat> Guy? It exists. It's burning. All right. I've played uh, 10,000 hours now on Steam without farming playtime. I have a little more in standalone, but that's like not much, few hundred. So I've never played a poison build and never played a bleed based build. There's so many things I haven't done in Path of Exile. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot to do. So don't worry about it. I'll try. Yeah, that worked out. Nice. Okay, there's this guy. Might have to go ball lightning for this guy. Oof, okay, nice. What was on this map? EE -E and Feeble, 40% monster life. And monsters take 40% reduced damage from critical strike. That is some tanky shit, dude. It was 50% spell block, 15% monster life, and all the, those four tanky ones on the map. Oh my god, okay, that makes sense that I do CDPS. And the crazy drops, uh, there's no crazy drops in these, it's just a consistent lot of stuff. Like, I've had some exalts, some, like, you know, big big stacks of exotic coinage from bosses, and, but like, there's no crazy drops here. Enlighten! Yo! Speaking of crazy drops, 2x. That is... That is the most valuable drop that I've found so far in a single drop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Good thing I just explained how there won't be any crazy drops. Oh shit, I have bottled fate. GG. Wait, can I not crit? Oh, he's blasting. No, I can crit. No, I cannot crit. Oh my god. Okay. Is fun. Yeah. Is great. About that. About those crit flasks then. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two haste mobs. Uh oh. That's uh that's game over. Hmm. What do we do here? I think I I fall haste and pull more and try to kill. Good luck. If we get those hastes, we could uh Pop off, maybe. If we get a pop here... No. No. That's it. We need full full juice for this. We need to re-gear for this. Oh my god. They're so fast. Three haste auras. I can't even smite. I'll try. Okay. 
Got it. No, too greedy. Heal up. Jesus. They'll shoot them from behind and then fuck the shields, right? Oh shit, I got a Prism Guardian. How much? 1x. Nice. Uh oh. Another stack. That's our second stack of uh, lesser. Jesus. Tan 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 Nope. Okay. We'll have some runic mobs. This is our uh, second brick. I would say we got around 90 to 95% of the loot out. We have three runic, four runic mobs here. And I have like two chests that I couldn't loot for. All right. I think we got as much as possible. That was a ridiculous one. <laughs> we got like the frost bomb tech and everything. Wasn't enough. Frostbomb doesn't stop the... It seems like it doesn't stop the percentage-based regen that they have. I tried. Oh my god, I reached a full stack. It's happened. 1,000 coins. You can't store more than this. Okay. Well, we have 1,000 coins. <laughs> oh god. What's the, what's the luck? 10 GCP. Our logbook so profitable. Always looks like you're dropping 30C. Um, we can take a look at that. If you're looking at nothing but Chaos Orb drops, that is possible. But that's not the only thing that drops, obviously. So we're gonna do, do this one logbook. And we're gonna... Add up everything that drops. I'm gonna keep the artifacts in my inventory the whole time, so we can add all those out. Okay, we're full. So we're gonna go up. 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's not worry about the single bad catalysts. Let's not worry about an essence incubator. Okay, so we're at 100. 101, 102, whatever. This is like 5C. Uh, 107, 183. Greater black side. Okay, that's 219C. And now 16 exotic coinage, which is 7C, but it's 8C in bulk. But let's go with 7C. It's 112C. So 331 chaos from this logbook, which we bought for 60 chaos, right? So that's a 271 chaos, pure profit. And we were pretty conservative, not bulk prices. We didn't count some stuff like sack frags and some shit cards or whatever. Yeah, that's for the person who thought we were uh, getting 30 out of these. I'm not tracking currency per hour here. I'm interested in how much currency you can get out of your logbox. I don't care how long it takes or... Yeah, because you, you can obviously rush these more. Uh, do a little bit less efficient, but more time efficient. You could, uh, you know, it might take a long time to sell or you might want to gamble your Tujin away instead of selling it. So it's like, I'm just going to price it at market price. <sighs> We're done. We looted everything. Does it fit in the tabs? Yes. Ah, done. For the cowgirl. 144 logbooks. Half of them are self-farmed. Some of them are bad. Half of them are extremely juicy. Best in slots, 60 C ones. Now it's time to figure out what we actually made from this.
Clicking so fast that using a script to stash items. I'm using the Razer Synapse, which is the software that comes with my mouse. It allows me to rebind my scroll up and scroll down to left click. So I just scroll my mouse up and down in my inventory, holding control, everything flies into my stash. That is 1,168 stack decks. Damn. So Deception contracts sell for 12c each in bulk. Perception and lockpicking 5c each, everything else 2c each. You can probably get more if you like bulk it up, like people buy 100 counter tomatoes or whatever. We're gonna bulk everything for 2c after. That is 81 plus of course, not, not the lower ones. Get a good old fashioned notepad out. I would like to buy, I'm not selling anything right now. We can do a trading stream the day after tomorrow. I can just chill and trade all day, I think we can do that. So 144C for Deception Contract, 130C of Lockpicking and Perception Contracts. Please don't be full. It's fucking full. 576K of uh, good blueprints. There's 105 random heists at 2C each, 210C in random heists. Red map time. Red maps in bulk are 5 to 7c, depending on the region, we're just gonna say 5. They're also horizonable, yeah. 1285c of red maps, 1200, because most of them are, all of my love books for 81 plus, so. We're gonna say 1200c of red maps, okay. And I'm gonna take out all these other, other maps and just not value it as well including some unique maps that have some value. So 1x to 22 coins, this is 53x, 53.5x of coins, 11.2x of these, 17.1x, so 17x of, uh, <laughs> of greater black sign, 14.4x. 14.444 of grants. Tabs. We want currency tab for the cowgirl. C. D3 also. Okay. 12,000 chaos, it says. How is it valuing the stack decks? 1.5. That is wrong. There is no way. Let's say, uh, let's say you want at least 600 stack decks. 86 stack decks for an X. All right, excellence. Tell me the number, fetch snapshot. We have 10,300 chaos in the currency tab, plus the fragment tab, plus this tab. So some simulacrums, some fossils, here is a shield from 1x, an item for 2x, some few C, like 10, 20 C cards. Let's see if that is correct. Just let's just go through this a little bit. Enlighten value that 2x, very good. I want to see the shield, Prism Guardian, 1x, perfect. So Excellence is actually doing a really good job here for this stuff. So let's get our trusty calculator out. So we start with the chaos stuff. 144 plus 130 plus 10,319 chaos. That's 15,632 chaos. Current exalt rate 170. Okay, it's pretty stable 170. Good. Divided by 170. It's 91.9x plus 53.5 plus 11.2 we made 226x 
that is not counting the investment yet. So how much we paid for these is complicated because half of them were pretty much self-farmed and the other half were really good 60c each ones. So the self-farmed ones were like half good, half bad. Uh, the bad ones are like 30c, the good ones are 40, 50, and the really good ones are 60. I had 700 blast orbs here, so I have spent 550 blast, 560 blast orbs, which I think is 1.4, 1 in 1.3, so that's 430 chaos of blast orbs. Let's say 200c of Alk Scour. Let's say you have to reroll some mods or whatever. 7,330 chaos total cost. It cost us 43x to buy and draw them. So minus 43x. So we made a grand total of 183 exalt of pure profit. Nice. Jesus Christ. That was a long project, but that was fun. I That was really fun. Uh, some of the project I, that I've done, I felt a um, little bit like over it, like for example the grand heisting towards the end, or uh, the simulacrums towards the end, it was kind of boring. This one is like, I want to do more, logbooks are fun as fuck, like uh, this, this is some of the best like content I think that they have introduced to the game, that is like different from mapping. Uh, the more thought you put into it, the more results you will get, the more you scout and the more you like min-max your pathing. The more like currency per logbook you get, and that's really cool. I think like rewarding like player like you know player behavior is like really good in RPGs. I think so. That's badass. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I wanna pro I should probably mention this for YouTube stuff that you know things like this are sponsored by mostly you guys pressing the Twitch Prime. You know. Um, subbing on YouTube, donating, doing all that stuff. My content will always be free, as it should be. People Why like you. Fight bloggers. People like that guy who support the stream make it possible for me to continue doing this. If you don't have the monetary support, that is all good. You know, liking the video helps, watching the video helps, leaving a comment helps, that's all good. Um, thank you guys for doing that. This is probably one of the most, if not the most, profitable thing you can currently do, I think, in the game. And they're pretty fun.